Hello and welcome to Football Tactics with Coach Reese. In this video we're going to take a look at how and why a team might use a 3-2-5 shape when they're in possession of the ball. When referring to the 3-2-5, we're talking about the shape a team uses when in possession. A team will tend to use this shape in more advanced areas of the pitch. This shape can be created in a couple of ways, so let's take a look. In this example, our starting formation is the 1-4-3-3. So the first way that we can create this shape is to use what we call inverted fullbacks. Firstly, to create the front five, our wide players will maintain wide positions in zones 1 and 5. Then the two advanced midfielders will play in the half spaces but higher up. This will then complete the front five. Now one fullback will become inverted and play in either zones two or four. This will depend on which fullback inverts. This may be pre-planned or it may be which side the ball is on. This will create the middle line two. The fullback that doesn't invert will play more centrally with the two centre backs. This will create three players in the defensive line. To begin, our starting formation is the 1-3-4-3. Three, three. So the second way that we can create this shape is to use inside forwards. In this example, our wide players will occupy zones 2 and 4. This allows the full backs to play more natural roles and maintain the width in zones 1 and 5. This is now our front 5 created. This formation naturally creates the midfield 2 and the defensive line 3. So our shape is complete. So the main reason a team uses this shape is because they are searching for a numerical advantage. With 5 players in attack, against most 4 player defences, the team will have a numerical advantage with 1 extra player in their attacking line. We can break this down even further and see the 2v1s and 3v2s that this shape has created. By using 5 players in attack, you will create lots of opportunities to ask questions of an opposition's defensive unit. All 5 players can ask lots of different questions. Some may make movements in behind, some can come short, and with this it will be very easy to dismantle an opposition's defensive structure, creating pockets of space that can be exploited. This will be exploited by using quick combinations to play in and around this defensive structure. For example, does your fullback have the technical ability and the skill set to play as an inverted fullback? If not, then you probably can't use that way and you may have to think of a different way. For example, using the inside forwards. Think about the team you support or the team you coach. Could you create a 3-2-5 with the players you have? Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Reese, and I will see you in the next one.